Hi, my name is Vishash Murphy and I studied my level 6, level 7 and level 8 with Portobello Institute and I'm currently studying my masters with them. Children go through many transitions throughout their life and the first major transition is from home to early years. So I wanted to learn more about how me as a practitioner could nurture that transition for children to ease their settling in process. So I based my whole 10,000 dissertation on home visits where I looked at the perspectives of parents and of practitioners and I carried out a research on this. When I was doing my literature review, a lot of the papers and things that I was reading, it was actually from different countries. So for example, England, America, New Zealand, and I was very limited with the resources available in Ireland. So then anyway, as I carried out my research, I said, okay, let's implement the home visit and see you know, what the outcome is. I initially went to visit the families for only about 20 minutes, half an hour. That was kind of the time I had, had allocated to it. And on my very first home visit, I ended up spending an hour to an hour and a half because the knowledge that I was gaining from the parents was just magnificent. I was learning about this child from their primary educators. And then I was also learning about the child in real life. I was down with them on the ground, playing with them. I was noting their interests, which really helped on their first day of school. So if I noticed that a child really liked animals, on the first day of school, I was able to have, you know, materials there linked to animals. And if the child was a little bit upset, I knew exactly what material would help them to maybe settle into setting a bit quicker. And actually out of those five families that I went to visit, the outcome was that on the very first day of school, none of them were upset. They knew me, their parents were more relaxed at the door because they had aired out any concerns that they had with me. I was able to, you know, ease the worries. And on the very first day, because the parents were more confident sending their child to the school, the children were more confident, which meant that they walked into school very happy. When I then went and interviewed the parents for my thesis, their outcomes were that they were so surprised that the children settled so quickly. They felt a lot more confident in the school, in their child attending there, and it really helped them not be as worried or even upset themselves. And they really liked how we were able to note their interests and support that learning further in the setting. And they said actually they could tell what children had the home visit and what child maybe didn't opt for the optional home visit at the time because the parents were so confident at the door. They also said that it helped us to build a stronger partnership with parents because they felt more comfortable coming to talk to us. We were more approachable and they felt like if anything changed throughout the year they were more inclined to come up to us and let us know which again helped us to maybe ease any other transitions that the child might have been going through at home. Because of my dissertation and all the benefits that I've seen come from implementing home visits in my setting I said okay let's make this a yearly thing. So every August I organise optional home visits for families and every year it has grown. So we started off with five home visits and the following year I had grown 13 visits and each year it has kept expanding as parents and children and myself are constantly seeing the benefits for it. And as parents are talking, they're always saying, you know, if you're going to Portobello Montessori School, definitely do a home visit. Uh, my name is Paulina. I'm the mother of uh, two daughters. Uh, after two years, I have a lot of questions actually to Katie and Natasha, because after these two years, everything is changed. My kids change as well. That's why probably will be a little different this year, especially when we have the COVID and the restriction as well. That's why I think, you know, this was the best idea. Visit home like with Kate Natasha and uh, like, you know, make the question face to face. Like I said, my little girl loves coming in the mornings. 
she loves school, all she talks about is school, then the weekends all she wants to do is still come to school. Um, at the start we had a little bit of trouble with her wanting to come to school but the girls always made her feel comfortable and there was never that like oh god me worrying about her at home because I knew she was well looked after like it's just safe and secure that's it. It's absolutely amazing like it's brilliant my, my little girl comes home from school every day with the biggest smile on her face and she's never unhappy she only comes home happy she's learning so much it's just brilliant I think it's a great Montessori for any kid, any child to be starting off to get them ready for school, it's brilliant. The things that they brought home that they were preparing with the kids in school was amazing. I think it was really good, it made me so happy, made me so proud and just feel great sending them to Portobello Institute, it's a Portobello Montessori, it's brilliant. So if it wasn't for Portobello Institute, I wouldn't have been able to learn about home visits. I wouldn't be able to put, implement them into my practice. And the support throughout was just absolutely incredible. Especially when I was interviewing parents, I wasn't sure exactly what questions to be asking. So when I drafted up my interview questions, I sent them to my dissertation supervisor and she came back to me within a couple of hours and was like, yep, yeah, those questions are fine. She altered some of them, she added in some of them and it was just absolutely incredible. The support I got allowed me to implement these as best I could. So I would highly recommend home visits. The benefits are just amazing. It really helped us to start a very, like kind of lay the foundations of a lifelong partnership of parents. When implementing home visits, some advice that I would give to anyone out there who also wants to do it is, first of all, definitely implement them if they are incredible. And also make sure that you offer times that suit the families, you know, there's no point in visiting a family if they're going to be rushing out of the house 10 minutes later. You want to have lots of time to sit down, relax with that family, make sure they feel comfortable. So when you are organizing a day and a time, try and make sure that it suits you and also the family as well. And another tip that we actually only implemented this year is everyone, that we saw, we asked them to draw a picture, which we can display in our art gallery in the classroom. So on the first day of school, we can say, do you remember when you drew this picture? Do you remember when I visited you in your home? And it just strikes up a conversation with the child while also making them feel a little bit more comfortable and smoothing that settling in process as well. I think it's really important that anything that you did in the home visit, that you reflect that back. So again, if you note any interest, reflect that in the session.